بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم and welcome back to another exciting lesson of English subject for grade 3 I hope all of you are fine and uh, are waiting for my lesson so I am back uh, students uh, as you remember that we had uh, finish the story Dorothy meets the scarecrow today we are starting its exercise and for that you have to open your book notebook and stationery in stationery you will need a pencil eraser sharpener and a ruler now I hope that you are ready with your notebooks before starting our work, I want to guide you about how to start your work. First of all, you have to draw a margin line on the right side of your page. Right side of the page. Then you will write the name of the subject on the left side. In the center, you will write CW and then you will write the date. I am not writing the date because I don't know at which date you will get the video. So you have to write the date of the day when you get the video on YouTube. After that you have to write the unit number which is 1, unit number 1. Then you will write the name of the unit Dorothy meets the scarecrow. Be careful about the capitalization I have written Dorothy with capital D and Scarecrow with capital S. Dorothy meets the Scarecrow. And then we will move on to the first question which is answer the following questions. Answer the following questions. Following means upcoming questions. Our first question is, what is the road made of? What is the road made of? This is the easiest question because I have asked this question many times while reading. So what is the road made of? I hope everyone knows the answer already. Yes, the answer of this question is, the road is made of yellow bricks the road is made of yellow bricks be careful about the word bricks it is not bricks it is bricks the road is made of yellow bricks the road is made of yellow bricks. Now to learn this question, you just look at this that I have started the answer from these words. The road is made of and you just have to add yellow bricks. Yellow bricks. The road is made of yellow bricks now that you have finished the answer of this question so draw a finishing line draw a finishing line now we are moving on to the next question for that you have to move on to the next page also On the next page, you just have to write the name of the subject, CW, date and unit number. You don't need to write unit name. You don't need to write unit name again and again on every page. Okay, here we are going to start the second question. And the second question is, what is Dorothy's pet called and what type of creature is he what is Dorothy's pet called means what is the name of Dorothy's pet what is Dorothy's pet called means what's the name of Dorothy's pet and what type of 
creature is he so here it means that what kind of living being what kind of living thing is he like there are many types of living things there are uh, human beings there are plants there are animals and in animals we have many creatures so uh, dogs cats elephants giraffes and many other creatures we have in the, this category so they are asking that what type of creature is he what type of creature is he what is dorothy's pet called and what type of creature is he so do you remember the name of dorothy's pet what was its name good its name was toto its name was toto and what type of creature is he what type of creature is he very good he is a dog he is a dog so its name is toto and he is a dog dorothy's pet is called toto dorothy's pet is called toto and he is a dog he is a dog dorothy's pet is called toto and he is a dog dorothy's pet is called toto and he is a dog why is the scarecrow in the field our next question is why is the scarecrow in the field what is the scarecrow doing in the field why is he standing in the field what's the answer of this question what comes to your mind why is the scarecrow in the field very good scarecrow is in the field to scare the birds away the scarecrow is in the field to scare the birds away the scarecrow is in the field to scare the birds away the scarecrow is in the field to scare the birds away the scarecrow is in the field to frighten the birds to frighten the birds away to scare the birds away okay students don't forget to draw finishing line at the end of each question now you can see this by yourself that i am also drawing these finishing line at the end of every question now we are moving on to the next question our next question is what does dorothy do to help the scarecrow what does dorothy do to help the scarecrow now who knows the answer of this question what does dorothy do to help scarecrow what does dorothy do to help the scarecrow what does dorothy do to help the scarecrow okay who will tell me the answer of this question what does dorothy do do you remember yes dorothy help the scarecrow crow in getting down the pole dorothy help him get down from the pole dorothy helps the scarecrow in getting down from the pole dorothy helps the scarecrow in getting off the pole 
get off means come down get off means come down so dorothy helps the scarecrow in getting off the pole getting down from the pole so off means off from so dorothy helps the scarecrow in getting off the pole getting off the pole now draw the finishing line as i told you you will draw finishing line at the end of every question let's move on to the next question which is what does the scarecrow do to help dorothy now it's the turn of scarecrow to help dorothy so what did the scarecrow do to help dorothy what does the scarecrow do to help dorothy what does the scarecrow do to help dorothy now do you remember what did he do what did the scarecrow do do you remember what does the scarecrow do to help dorothy so yes scarecrow help dorothy carry the basket scarecrow help her carry the basket the scarecrow helps dorothy in carrying her basket the scarecrow helps dorothy in carrying her basket carrying means holding her basket for her the scarecrow helps dorothy in carrying her basket now draw the finishing line draw the finishing line now it's the turn of the last question our last question is what did the scarecrow want to ask the great oz for what did the scarecrow want to ask the great oz for now tell me what did the scarecrow want from the great oz what did he want to ask the great oz for do you know the answer yes the scarecrow wanted to ask the great oz for a brain yes the scarecrow wanted to ask the great oz for a brain the scarecrow wanted to ask the great oz for a brain now here we can see that here is a did in the question therefore the want becomes wanted in the answer want become wanted in the answer the scarecrow wanted to ask the great oz for a brain now we did uh, six questions today and uh, all of the questions were very easy so i hope you learned them and you enjoyed learning them so now it's the turn of uh, homework now it's the time that i give you some homework so your homework is that you have to learn uh, question a b and c you will learn them and after learning them you will uh, make a video of your answers and you will send them to me and uh, if you have any kind of question if you want to ask any kind of question uh, you can contact uh, on school whatsapp number and uh, we will be there to answer your questions so this was all for today i hope everyone would do homework i am receiving homework from uh, three uh, white three purple and three green uh, some of the students from three blue also i hope the other classes will also start sending me homeworks i want you to be regular in doing your homework so students do hard work it is uh, good for you
Okay, thanks for your time. اللهم انفعنا بما علمتنا وعلمنا ما ينفعنا وزدنا علما